2008, Chinese spend accounted for around 12% of purchases in the global personal luxury market. By the London Olympics four years later, that number had nearly doubled to 21%. Even before COVID-19 hit, China was projected to account for well over half of global luxury retail by 2030. Now that target looks likely to be hit far sooner, with the 2020s sure to become luxury's Chinese decade. The number one uh, touch point which creates a recruitment to a, to a brand uh, in our category, uh, it's a friend or somebody you know. We Britishness really, yeah. really uh, yeah. uh, appeals and sells uh, in China. Too. Yeah. By next year, it is predicted that social commerce will account for at least a fifth of all online sales in China, a staggering 180 billion US dollars. Across China's vast network of social commerce platforms, dozens of forward-facing luxury brands have been experimenting with the difficult balancing act that is maintaining sales without detracting from your hard-fought brand equity, heritage and customer experience. Sales in China accounts for roughly 20% of our overall business revenue. Yeah. And the Chinese customer accounts for about 30% of our London revenue in our, in our flagship London store. So it's fair to say that it's a really important customer base for us. We definitely got very good at storytelling against all our core values, which definitely resonated. So there's definitely a trend coming up in the younger audience in China of craftsmanship and sustainability, which we're really well placed to meet because that does at, a, at our very hard.